Our agency has been rocked today. Fortunately, we won't be planning a funeral, regardless of how intended and determined this suspect was to take a deputy's life. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Well, a horrific morning for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, as the sheriff says a man tried to kill two of his deputies. As you can see in this shocking footage, that suspect rammed into both of those deputies with his car. Both of those deputies were severely injured. We're told it happened on Dexwell Court in the Heather Lakes neighborhood, right off Flaxwood Avenue in Brandon. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers joins us live. And Nicole, the sheriff was emotional and he said this was intentional, which is absolutely terrifying. It is, and for the agency, it was just absolutely devastating. Sheriff Chad Chronister emotionally laid out the details of this investigation, saying while he's glad he's not planning a funeral, a man did purposefully try to kill deputies here today. Now, I want to warn you, this video may be difficult to watch. Dramatic body camera footage shows the moment two deputies' lives changed forever. Next thing you know, you see the gray car, Whew. and boom. Some people described the sound like they heard it was a gun shot, but that wasn't no gunshot. That you heard it running into something. She Sheriff Chad Chronister says it all started with a 911 call from a woman saying her son, 28-year-old Ralph Boozy, was having a mental health crisis. He was kicking in doors uh, throughout the house, and she was in fear for her life. Two deputies responded, only to find Boozy sitting in the driver's seat of this Nissan Altima. They tried to establish a rapport. They try to de-escalate the situation. He wants nothing to do with the deputies. He won't roll the window down. He won't open up the door. He won't even engage in conversation. Boozy left the scene, but that's not where this story ends. Two more deputies raced to the scene after seeing Boozy's criminal history, filled with arrests for three felonies and 14 misdemeanors. Now with four deputies in total, Sheriff Chronister says Boozy came back to the scene, whipping his car around the corner near the two deputies who had just arrived. They have to jump between their two patrol cars to make sure that they're not struck by this suspect. He says Boozy then aimed his car at the second set of deputies and hit the gas. These deputies never had a chance. They didn't have a chance to get out of the way. They didn't have a chance to do anything. He's accelerating at such a high rate of speed, and he strikes both of them. Now, we're told that both of those deputies were severely injured and taken to Tampa General Hospital. One may even have to have his leg amputated. As for Boozy, he is now facing three charges of attempted murder on a law enforcement officer. Josh? Boy, that is hard to hear and hard to see that video. You mentioned plenty of previous arrests for this guy, this Boozy guy. Has he ever displayed this type of hate toward law enforcement in the past? Josh, he has. Sheriff Chronister said back in 2017, he actually punched a deputy in the face and from the back of a patrol car said he not only hated law enforcement, but wanted to kill them. Good guy to have locked up tonight. Nicole Rogers, live in Brandon. Thanks so much for the update.